Let's do an iceberg video. For those that don't know, the iceberg is a chart of all the cool, interesting, obscure, or creepy tidbits about a certain topic. The topic in this video being sports games. Why sports games? Because that's the theme of the channel. Come on, keep up. The lower you go, the more obscure, or whatever, the entry is. Naturally, I had to make a sports game iceberg myself because there wasn't one. And before we start, I just wanted to say that this iceberg will not have any wrestling entries. I do talk about and will continue to talk about wrestling, but I just feel like there are so many interesting things about wrestling that it needs its own iceberg. Anyway, let's start. Okay, I'm sure everyone, even those who don't even know who the hell John Madden even is, knows about this one. Pretty much, the Madden curse is essentially bad things happen to you if you're on the cover of Madden. Whether it's disappointing seasons, career-ending injuries, off-the-field issues, or just disappearing entirely, the curse gets you. The curse isn't that much talked about these days because you have players like Patrick Mahomes who seemingly avoided it, but years ago this thing was treated like a serious threat. You know, John Madden was on the cover of Madden itself for years. How come nothing's ever happened to him? He must have applied all that tough acting to acting. Boom! Tough acting to actin'. In 2004, Barry Bonds turned down the MLB's licensing agreement, so now he can license his big steroid head on his own. Because of this, Barry Bonds couldn't even be used in MLB games. So MVP Baseball created this guy, John Dowd, in his place. MLB The Show had their own version of Barry Bonds too, called Reggie Stalker. Get it? Bonds? Stalker? <laughs> These guys who look like the creative wrestler models from the SmackDown games are fans of the Canucks. They sit near the opponent's penalty box and do a whole bunch of crazy shit to mess with the other team. They actually make an appearance in NHL 14. In NBA 2K15, they brought some barely literate athletes to voice themselves, and it is some of the worst voice acting you can hear in any video game ever. I'm not kidding. Even worse than some of those early PS1 games. Yo, what's going on tonight? I'm running free all over the court and you didn't give me the ball. Man, what are you talking about? I'm talking about making sure I get my touches, yo. Move the ball, share it with your teammates. Make the extra pass so that we can get easy looks, you got it? Boy, get out of my face with that, man. I do what I do with the rock for the good of this team. And I don't need nobody second guessing me. You ain't my coach, punk. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Get over yourself, man. Oh my, someone called the National Weather Service. We had an unanticipated storm in the building tonight. Homeboy was raining threes down on these fools. Bam, 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 one after another. They'll lose track of you and boom, another one. That was sweet to see. You keep shooting like that, it's gonna make a huge difference for us. My God, it sounds like they're on morphine. In the sports world, Sony is known for their MLB games, but they used to make other sports games too. You have all of these extreme sports games. You also had the NBA series and the NFL game day series. And no, this channel was not named after that, shut up. Because of licensing issues, and the fact that most of these games kind of sucked ass anyway, most of them were discontinued. Starting in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, there's a goat hidden in the levels. And, uh, well, there's always a person who looks like they're about to bang the goat. Don't know what this is about, but yeah. Next. Fighting Baseball for the Famicom had to come up with American names for a team, and this is what they came up with. Bobson Dugnut is a truly wonderful name. But what the hell is Sir Nandez and Bonzales? It's like they almost had a real name, but they just couldn't do it. In some of the FIFA games, they can glitch out and spawn this gigantic goalie. I don't even know how the hell this glitch can even happen. The guys at Midway hated the Bulls, apparently, because if the Bulls played the Pistons, they were programmed to miss shots in close games. Can you imagine anything like this happening today? Brock Lesnar is the jacked white boy that USADA dealt with. He's been in many different games, though. If you count the WWE games as sports games, then he's been in three completely different series of sports games. The WWE games, the UFC games, 
and Madden 2006. I believe that's the most appearances in different sports games for a playable character. I'm pretty sure. I'm willing to bet all my Funtime USA tokens on it. In the older Madden games, when you suffer an injury, an ambulance drives onto the field and runs over players. Concussions? Nah, that's too much, man. Vehicular manslaughter? And that's fine. That's and fine. That's fine. Commented about it. That's fine. That's fine. In MLB 16, the show an Easter egg was mentioned by the development team. Months after release of the game, it was mentioned that the Easter egg still wasn't found, or still wasn't find, as I wrote in my notes. <laughs> Some hints were given out that it has something to do with the Seattle Mariners. So people found out if you go on a Where's Waldo adventure with this game and found out if you take the replay out of bounds, you'd find the Seahawks Stadium. A PS1 looking version, but still. But this wasn't the Easter egg. More and more time passed and a random guy on Reddit found it. It's Harold Reynolds visiting the booth and talking nonsense. Well, I was in town to see the old team, the Mariners, play, and I knew you guys were up here, so I figured, hey, I'll just drop by and say hello real quick. It's pretty sweet up here, man. Matt, you got a nice gig going. Yeah, I'm just as disappointed as you. Years ago, Dana White and the UFC approached EA in hopes of making a video game franchise. EA declined and essentially laughed Dana out of the room, not just because he has a girl's first name and a tomato head, but because EA saw UFC and mixed martial arts in general as a joke. This would be a blessing in disguise because the UFC would eventually partner with THQ and we would get the very good undisputed games. Once the UFC in general started to blow up in popularity, then all of a sudden EA wanted to make MMA games. I don't think there's any challenges going head to head with EA. EA is the me too. They're the, you know, Johnny come lately. We talked to EA Sports and you know what EA Sports said? It's not a real sport. Those aren't real athletes and we'd never make a video game out of that. So like a typical goofball company, you know, this one comes out and, and, and does very well and they're like, oh, okay, me too. Now it's a sport. Now it's a sport. These guys are real athletes because we want to make some money off it. EA sucks. THQ would eventually go out of business and EA would get the UFC license anyway. So I guess up yours, Dana. We all know Punch-Out, but Mike Tyson gave his likeness to some of the shittiest boxing games ever imaginable. Ever imaginable? I don't think that makes sense. Mike Tyson boxing and Mike Tyson heavyweight boxing were definitely video games that were made. There's also Mike Tyson virtual boxing, which looks pretty cool, but it's just a casino game. You can't score one point in football is a statement much like you saying you love your life. Both are untrue. You can score one point in football. It just takes a sequence of events so unlikely that you have a better chance of going outside during the daytime and avoiding sunlight. Pretty much one team has to get a touchdown and then go for two. During the attempt for two, the defense somehow has to get a safety, even though they're 98 yards away from their own end zone. If they get a safety, that would result in one point. Madden actually has this in the game, which is a good bit of attention to detail, honestly. It's shocking considering they released Madden 20, a game that still had Madden 19 banners in there. Special shout out to this kid, who's trying to show the rule by playing against himself, and he drops two passes, and then he throws a pick six against himself. <laughs> on first down, Brady. He caught it. And he drops it. That means he'll be wide open. There we go. How do you drop it? Okay, let's let him get a pick six. All-Star Baseball was an awful baseball game by Acclaim, who was also awful. One of the cool things that this game does, though, is that it shows us potential future stadiums for MLB teams. Now, these are just for fun. This game was released in 2005, and it said the Mets and Yankees future stadiums would have retractable roofs. Yeah, that didn't happen. Derek Jeter narrates the tour of each stadium, too. You can literally visualize him reading his lines off a piece of paper. He's that flat. And that's coming from me. Although the park will have a retro-style look, the technology will be unbelievable. PlayStation 6. The technology will be unbelievable. No, I'm not just talking about the Mario spin-offs or Wii Sports, but actual sports games. 
The NBA Courtside Series and the Ken Griffey Jr. Series were both licensed by Nintendo. Nintendo even planned another MLB game called Penna Chase Baseball, but it was cancelled. Similarly, Microsoft also had their own sports games. NBA Inside Drive and NFL Fever. These games, amongst others, were part of XSN Sports. XSN Sports was a service where you could join leagues, online stat track, and scout your opponent through the XSN site. This was apparently done because EA didn't bring their games over to Xbox Live. Once they did, XSN was more like CNN at the bottom of the hour. Off air. On August 28, 2018, a Madden tournament was being held in the Jacksonville Landing Indoor Marketplace. David Katz, better known as Mr. Slice Bread, was a participant. He eventually lost and didn't shake his opponent's hand. He came back hours later with a handgun and shot 12 shots, killing two and injuring 10. The two that were killed were 27-year-old Taylor Robinson, who was known as Spot Me Please. He leaves behind his wife and his young son and 22-year-old Elijah Klain, also known as True Boy. The tournament was live-streamed, and you could see the laser pointer from David Katz's gun on Elijah's chest before he opens fire. It was later revealed that David Katz had mental illness, and if you look at the footage of him, you can tell there's something off. He looks like he's only ever interacted with people via online games, and I'm not joking. Taylor and Elijah, you guys were taken from us way too soon, and we miss you every single day. NBA Elite was an attempt by EA Sports to reboot their NBA Live series. They started from scratch and gave game development to EA Canada, who was better known for their NHL series of games. Turns out this was too ambitious because NBA Elite was cancelled and the series went on multiple cancellations and hiatuses, and eventually went back to the old NBA Live name. It seems the series is once again on hiatus though. Death taxes, and NBA Live getting cancelled. Those are the three guarantees in life. The game was cancelled about a month away from release, so some PS3 copies snuck out and this is one of the rarest, if not the rarest, sports game. You can spend upwards of $10,000 on it. And don't waste your money. I love this review by the way. Game of the year better than Minecraft and Red Dead Redemption 2 and Roblox combined. <laughs> Speaking of NBA Elite, the demo was released before the game was, and it spawned an infamous glitch that went viral years ago, and you can even argue this glitch caused the game to be cancelled. YouTuber the Real Hard 8 Times uploaded a video of him playing the game, and Bynum stood still in the middle of the court in a Jesus-like fashion. What the fuck? Yo, are y'all seeing this shit? I like to think he's doing the Chris Jericho pose, but that's just me. In one of the pre-release streams for MLB 17 The Show, they showed off a glitch that is nightmare fuel inducing. So we have a really funny video to show you. This thing gave me nightmares. <laughs> so that's what happens when you have a bug. <laughs> oh We've had several bugs throughout the year that create these effects. And... I don't think MLB creepy pastas are a thing, but here's a quick way to start them. Fortnite Night Champion was EA Sports' first and only M-rated title. There's nothing really controversial in it. It has a story where the main character gets the piss beaten out of him, and there's blood everywhere. They also use big boy words. Here's a Temco arcade style game that's the lowest rated sports game on Metacritic. It was delisted and there's no way to play it. I wanted to give this game a try since I made a video on the lowest rated Metacritic games, but I can't. With PS3 emulation slowly becoming a thing, maybe we can get our hands on it one day. 